enables a quick view of an incident's location. Storage of tenants' details. This can be used as a pseudo keyholder database. Transmission of text-based messages to tenants. The following types are supported. Alert messages. These would be used for evacuation, missing child, or similar urgent events. Informational messages. These would be used for non-urgent, centre-based information. Sales messages. These would be used to ask for weekly sales information from the tenants. There are within TAS some predefined messages. These allow a shorter transmission time for urgent events. Messages can be sent to individual tenants, selected tenants, tenant zones, tenants within a certain business sector, or to all tenants. Each transmitted message is audit tracked to ensure delivery and to ascertain that the tenant has acknowledged its content via an easy to use interface on the deployed device. Message transmission is audit trailed in real time whilst the event is in progress and then saved for historical reporting. Each tenant device used by TAS has the ability to have a panic button program next to it. This allows a tenant to request assistance from centre security to an event within their location. Let's take a few minutes to see this in action. Here's an example of a typical situation where a customer is attempting to use a credit card fraudulently. Realising there is a problem, the shop assistant withholds the card, turns the customer away and discreetly presses the panic button to alert security. Within seconds, the alert is delivered to the task screen at the security desk. Immediately, the specific location flashes on the screen and the nature of the alert is also specified by the shop owner. With this information to hand, security can investigate the alert more closely via CCTV and the closest security guard is contacted via TAS phone. Armed with a specific location and physical description, the security guard is able to quickly apprehend the suspect. From this point, the suspect is identified by the shop owner and then taken to a secure area where police are notified. It's as simple as that.